first of all learn about the different modes of CLI. Let me just show you how CLI looks like. So this is our packet tracer and if you take a router from here and place it in the workspace, then once you click on this, you will see a window. Now you can see there are multiple tabs here. The first one is physical tab, then we have config, then CLI, then attributes. So mostly we will be using CLI only, but we can look into these as well. So, so once you click on the router, which you have placed in your workspace, once you click on it, you will see a window which pops up. Then you have different tabs here. The first one is physical tab, then we have config, then we have CLI, then we have attributes. So we'll be looking deeper into CLI and that's something we will be using mostly. But before that, I want you to understand what physical tab is and what are the functions of this physical tab. So this is an image of your router, which you have chosen. And here you can see there is a switch from which you can turn off or turn on the router. Then there are some empty slots where you can install your ports. So these are the list of great, great. So if you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Now, here you can see the modules which are present here. So you can just simply drag a module and once you release it here, it will be installed here. For that, you have to first of all switch off the router. So if you try to install ports while the router is on, it will give you some error. So we will go to the switch, we will click it. And once the router is off, we can install the ports. Now, when I place this here, I can see Earlier, I had only these two Ethernet ports. Now there are these four Ethernet ports and according to your uh, requirement, you can choose the module which you want. So to, to put it back, you just have to click it again, then drag it till here and release. So it will go back. Uh, and we can see here are multiple choices which you can use. So as per your requirement, you can simply click on the module you want to install and simply you have to just drag it to the slot and once it is installed, you can connect your cables into it. So we don't need this as of now. We will look into this later when we will be connecting multiple devices. So this is something how a physical tabs look like. From here, you can zoom in or zoom out. Then. These are the available options. You can explore this in your packet tracer. And now let's get to something which we will be using most of the time. Okay. So once you are done, you have to just switch on the router. Then you can go to CLI and you will see that device is booting up. So we will wait until the router gets completely up. Now, when you when you enter the CLI mode, uh, you see a question here, which is, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog, which is not something which we uh, deal with. So we'll just we just press no, we just enter no and click enter. Then after that, it says press return to get started. We will press the enter button again. And once you press it again, you will see this. This mode, which we enter into after like after <clears throat> pressing no for the question is known as user mode. Now to get uh, deeper into this to to make sure we can configure commands on this we'll we will press enable we will enable the router and we'll press enter you have to write enable then press enter now you see if you see the prompt changed from this to a okay 
okay no worries we will do this again so the the mode which you are in now is called privilege mode so the first of all first we enter into the user mode then once we type enable and press enter we we get to see a different prompt and the mode is known as privilege mode is it visible now great so the mode we are currently in is known as privilege mode and this mode is usually used for show commands so here you can see what all commands are configured then after that in order to configure commands like from this you can check what all commands are there what all configuration is made on the router but in order to make some changes you have to get into global configuration mode so for that you have to type configure terminal and once you press c o n f after that you can press tab to make it auto complete so once you press uh, like if i delete this and if i press c o n f and after that if i press the tab button it will automatically can complete it to configure then after that i press t e r then uh, again i press the tab button and it automatically completed it to terminal so you have to type configure terminal to get into the global configuration mode where you can configure commands to make changes so once you press enter you will see that now the prompt is again changed to something router bracket config then a hash so this is the global configuration mode so these are the three modes on which we work uh, in order to make configurations on the router in order to deploy a network and we will learn more about these modes how these work and what commands are there which can be used on these modes to make changes or to like check what is going on within the router so we will be learning everything about that also so i am repeating myself now so we will just switch it off and switch it on again now we entered the cli mode and we can see the router is getting booted so this is the image of router which is getting booted now once it is done we have to just type no and press enter then again it says press return to get started then we will press enter again and now we are in user mode then we have to type enable and press enter again to make enable to get into the enable mode this mode is also known as privilege mode or you can simply call it as enable mode now we are in privilege mode and what is privilege mode used for it is used to check what all configuration are there and what are the like uh, you can say the the spe specifications about device all those things can be checked through uh this mode which is enable mode or you can call it as privilege mode then after that to make some configuration you have to get into global configuration mode and in order to get into that you have to type configure terminal and once you press enter you see that there is a different prompt now now you are in the configuration mode from here you can type the commands and make changes into the router is it clear till now are you guys uh, like was it clear about these three different modes 